quest for perfection ends tomorrow for East Noble. We look ahead to the signature matchup this weekend, East Noble and Evansville Memorial for the 4A state championship. Sixteen years after their last state appearance, the Knights pack up and head to Indy for the 4A championship. It's amazing because I was born in 2003, so I mean, I haven't seen anything like this and I'm fortunate to be playing. It was pretty sweet here back and all our fans were out here supporting and I know they'll be at Lucas Oil, so it'll be an awesome feeling there too. East Noble has had some very strong teams the last few years, but not at the level to compete for a state title. Coach Luke Amstutz expected another good season in 2019, but soon learned his team had big things in store. We thought we had an opportunity to, to do some special things a little bit. We knew we had some size and, and the ability to throw and run and play some good defense. Um, but I, I don't. I think it was more as we got into week one and two and, and won some big games against Mishawaka and Plymouth that we started to think that you know there's nobody out there that we can't beat. And the Knights went on to beat everyone on track for a perfect season until last Friday. A rocky start put the Knights down 17-0, but East Noble dug deep, rallied, and found a way to move forward. My teammates always had my back because, you know, that was a rough first half on my part, and I knew that they would they would pick me up. The defense did a great job stopping them with some, some really important downs. After halftime, we just regrouped and come together as a team and didn't turn the ball over, and our defense made stops that they need to make, and we came out with the win. Now these kids head into unfamiliar territory, taking on a new opponent inside an NFL stadium. You want the kids to believe it's no different. It's a 100-yard field, and uh, we're going to show up and play against 11 guys, and, and you know, uh, you can't get caught up in all the emotion. You can't worry about, you know, the huge crowds and the, you know, the, the jumbotrons. You just got to show up and play football. Evansville Memorial awaits East Noble on Saturday afternoon. The Tigers have a lot of experience at this stage, winning state in 2017 and finishing as runner-up last year. The Tigers have some serious momentum too after beating Mount Vernon 28-3 last Friday. When you get to this level, everybody's pretty dang good. So, uh, you know, when we watch them on film, we're really impressed with their, especially their defensive line. Um, offensively, they've got, you know, a stable of good, you know, running backs and receivers. They like to get the ball to a lot of different guys. The Knights might not have experience at Lucas Oil, but their opponents well aware of all the tools East Noble brings to the table. They've got the ability to score at any moment. And, uh, you know, the, the, the moxie they show, you know, getting down against Hobart, never panicking, and then come back and winning the game, even with the turnovers that they had. And then when you watch them on defense, they fly around. The Knights have a golden opportunity waiting for them, a chance to win East Noble's second state title and become the first group in school history to go undefeated. This, this team will go down as a legacy, and it's going to be great knowing that we're going to be remembered forever and the community is going to, look back and remember uh, how big of a team this was and how, how big this was for the community and showing that kids from small towns can come up and do anything. That final test for the Knights almost here. East Noble takes on Evansville Memorial for that 4A trophy on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Well, three state championships were decided today and tonight down in Indianapolis. 1A, Lafayette Central Catholic edges Indianapolis Lutheran 29-28. Knights win it on a two-point conversion with 10 seconds left in the game. They gambled, they won. 3A, Indianapolis Chittard beats Heritage Hills 34-3 and extends its record of all-time most state championships in football to 14. And in 5A, New Palestine tonight winning the title over Valparaiso 27-20. 2A, 4A, and 6A tomorrow. East Noble, as you just saw, going for that crown in 4A against Evansville Memorial.